Alki, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants. And today, we're going to be talking about the benefits of using Ivory Organics as a sunblock for your plants, especially as we get into summer. Right now, there's a lot of cities across the United States that are experiencing over 100 degrees. And if you're going to be in the sun for more than even 10 or 20 minutes, it's recommended, I've got, it's recommended you put on your sunblock. Why? To reflect those excess sun rays so that you don't burn, so you don't have that first, second, and third degree burn. Let me share with you some of the temperatures happening across the city right now. Check this out. Here in Los Angeles, where we are right now, we can see that we're only in the mid 80s, but check out these other conditions across the country. If we were to go to Las Vegas, right now it's 101 degrees with tomorrow experiencing 110, 111 on Sunday, 113, 116, 117, 116. If we go to Phoenix, Arizona, 110, 114, 119, 120 degrees. Let's continue now to Dallas, Texas. 98 degrees, 97, 90, 97, 98, 99, 97. These are all very high extreme temperatures for your plants. One way to treat this is to simply buy the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard ready to use spray bottle which looks like this. Protection against damaging sunburn, insects, and rodents. The protection from insects and rodents comes from the oils that are in the product which include castor oil, cinnamon, clove, cedarwood, garlic, peppermint, and rosemary. And what's going to happen is by shaking it and applying it to your plants, if we turn around here you can take a look at for example the citrus, we can just spray it like so on the tree. Aside from applying to your citrus, this here is the improved Meyer lemon variety. There's another over here, if you want to follow. This here is a semi-dwarf Eureka lemon. Same thing, the leaves, the fruit, and this here is the south exposure here in the northern hemisphere. It's the southernmost part of the tree that's most exposed to sunburn. And if we're on the, in the southern hemisphere, then it's going to be the north side of the tree that's most exposed to sunburn. So if you're in Australia, it's going to be the other side of the tree. Um, but here in the northern hemisphere, such as um, the United States, it's the south side of the tree that's most exposed to the sunburn. So your fruit can also be sprayed with the ivory organic spray. And if you come in a little closer, you can even see the white organic spray that's left behind on the plant to help keep the plant several degrees cooler so you can grow these non-native plants in your gardens. Let me show you how else we can apply this so product. spray Check bottle is not enough, then you can purchase the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard as a, um, as a can. Let me show you the can as well. It says protection against damaging sunburn, insects, and rodents. It's also registered material for use in organic agriculture. And it also gives you directions on the bank on the back for brush on directions, foliar spray directions, as well as tree paste directions. And let's show you how I can make a huge volume of this product using a tank sprayer to easily coat your larger trees and plants in your garden. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open the product. It comes with the um, organic powder, like so, as well as the oil vial, which just comes bubble wrapped, like so. And this oil vial has these seven oils in it to help repel the insects and rodents. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the bag here, like so, and I've got a cup of water and we can simply just take our spoon here and add about a half a tablespoon or maybe a teaspoon quantity and just stir that into a cup like so. The directions on the ba back recommend that you take um, one or two teaspoons out of the finished product, which is right here. If we take a look, this here is some that's left over that was already mixed and used at other projects around the property, but we can take one or two teaspoons of this product and add it to a bottle full of water to create the foliar spray that way. But I'm just gonna do it this way real quick. And that way I can keep the powder unmixed with water, being that the goal is I wanna store this for another project and make it last as long as possible. A lot of people ask once you add water to it, how long does it last? And it's on average about two weeks for it to have the good adhesion onto your plant, but you can also freeze it in your freezer if you mix it with water and then store it you know, for many years that way. So we're gonna take the solution, like so, and then I've got here my spray tank, and you can see that I've got water up to this point over here. What I'm gonna do is just take my funnel, which has a filter in it. If you come in a little closer, you can see the filter, which is right here. And the goal with the filter is I'm going to make sure that if there's any um, 
coarse material within it or any bubbles, I want to make sure that those get filtered out so it doesn't block my sprayer. So that's just going to go right into the tank like so. And now we've got over a gallon of product that I've just created using just about a tablespoon, about a half a tablespoon worth of the Ivory Organics powder. If I want to add the defense of the um, oils as well, so I've got some insect and rodent protection as well on the plants, I can just add proportionally a few drops of the oil as well to the tank. And, and now we'll add some pressure. And now let's get to applying it to the rest of the trees in this garden. Check this out. So this here is a group of transplants that we prepared for the garden club meeting that we're having for a summer Hollywood Hills garden club meeting. In here, you're gonna notice that we've got some vinca. In front of it, we've got some lantana, got some tomatoes, I've got some peppers, and I've got um, some eggplant in here. So all of these plants, hopefully you capture that butterfly, beautiful butterfly here in the garden. This here is known as the swallowtail butterfly. It looks like it's laying an egg right there on the citrus leaves. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a foliar spray to keep all of these transplanted plants cool and it's going to help those gardens that it's going to go into stay a lot cooler when they make their way into other gardens throughout the Los Angeles area. So here we go here. And take a look now at the leaves. If you come in a little closer you can still see that white organic sunblock right there on the leaves. You can see that lighter color that's on there. That's going to help re reflect a lot of the excess sunlight and keep the plants significantly cooler as you get established in their new environment. Let's check out, out, check out some other trees here as well. So if you come in a little closer, you'll actually see that we've got the Ivory Organic Sunblock Spray that we applied to this Haas Avocado just a couple of weeks ago. It has since dried on. You can see what it still looks like and focus on the leaves, which we can take a look here, for example. You'll see the um, Ivory Organic Sunblock Spray, how it's dried on. And if you focus in on the underlying stems, you can see that the foliar spray has also helped keep the stems significantly cooler as well by protecting a very light, thin coat. For the greater protection, you're going to want to apply it as a brush on. You can see that we've created a much better, thicker protection against the thin barked avocado trees by coating, you know, by applying a brush on coat to the entire trunk and lower branches as well. Let's continue on. You can also apply it to the Fuerte avocado tree. We can also apply it to an apple tree, as well as our passion fruits. Check out all of these passion fruits behind me. One, two, three, four, five passion fruit, all within just a square foot here within the plant. And check out these beautiful, remarkable flowers as well of the passion fruit. Come in here. One customer even asked, a lot of his cactus are also susceptible to sunburn. You would think cactus can withstand anything, but we've got a customer with sunburned cactus. And again, Ivory Organics foliar spray can help with that as well. Check that out. Even your strawberry plants can benefit from a protection of the ivory organics. And check out these beautiful fruit. So being that these are ready to harvest, we're going to harvest these right now. And for those of you that saw that video of when we prepared this strawberry pot a few months ago, you can see how well these strawberries have since performed. And, and again, all of our fertilizing and feeding happened right here through the top. We didn't put any plants up here and we've got some wood chip layer here to protect the soil and help keep it damp as well as enrich the area as well. And what we're going to do now is we're going to again take the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Plant Garden Spray and cool off those leaves as well. And you can zoom in and check out those leaves. You remember this Oral Blanco grapefruit we installed just a month ago? Check out all of this new growth we're going to be protecting.
got another row of second year citrus that we're also going to be protecting. Even your roses can benefit. If you've enjoyed this educational video by Ivory Organics, be sure to like it. And most importantly, by subscribing below, you'll be connected to this and all the other educational gardening videos. Thanks again for watching. Happy gardening.